All right, so in this problem, I have x to the power of x to the power of 5 is equal to 100. So to solve this, I'm going to first start by taking the power of 5 on both sides. So now I have x to the power of x to the power of 5 to the power of 5 is equal to 100 to the power of 5. Now, if I have something in the form a to the power of m to the power of n, this is the same thing as a to the power of m times n. In m and n, you can change the place of these two, so this is the same thing as a to the power of n times m. Now, if something in the form a to the power of m to the power of n is equal to a to the power of m times n, then a to the power of n times m, this should equal a to the power of n to the power of n. So, in this case, I can rewrite a to the power of m to the power of n as a to the power of n to the power of m. So I have x to the power of x to the power of 5 to the power of 5. And we can think of x to the power of 5 as m and 5 as n. So if I change the place of these two, I get x to the power of 5 to the power of x to the power of 5 is equal to 100 to the power of 5. Now 100, this is the same thing as 10 to the power of 2. So now I have x to the power of 5 to the power of x to the power of 5 is equal to 10 to the power of 2 to the power of 5. Now remember, if I have something in the form a to the power of m to the power of n, this is equal to a to the power of m times n. So 2 to the power of 2 to the, sorry, sorry, 10 to the power of 2 to the power of 5, that's going to equal 10 to the power of 2 times 5, which is 10 to the power of 10. So x to the power of 5 to the power of x to the power of 5 is equal to 10 to the power of 10. Now, I'm going to let x to the power of 5 equal to the variable y. So now, if I change the places of x to the power of 5 and y, I get y to the power of y is equal to 10 to the power of 10. Now, if I have something in the form a to the power of a is equal to b to the power of b, this means that a is equal to b. But this is only if b is greater than or equal to 1. So in this case, I have y to the power of y equals 10 to the power of 10, and 10 is greater than or equal to 1. So this works out. So I can write this in the form a equals b or y equals 10. Now, remember how we set x to the power of 5 equal to y. So now I have x to the power of 5 equals 10. Now I'm going to take the fifth root on both sides. 5th root of x to the power of 5 is x, so I have x equals 5th root of 10. So this is my answer. All right, so in this problem, I have 5 to the power of x plus 2 is equal to 4 to the power of x. So to solve this, I'm going to first take the natural log on both sides. So I have ln 5 to the power of x plus 2 is equal to ln 4 to the power of x. Now, if I have something in the form ln, a to the power of b, I can actually move this exponent of b to the front. So this is going to equal b times ln a. So for ln 5 to the power of x plus 2, I can move x plus 2 to the front. And for ln 4 to the power of x, I can move x to the front. So now I'm going to have x plus 2 times ln 5 is equal to x times ln 4. Now, if I distribute the x and the 2, I get x times ln 5 plus 2 times ln 5 is equal to x times ln 4. Now, I'm going to go ahead and subtract 2ln 5 on both sides. So now I have x times ln 5 is equal to x times ln 4 minus 2 times ln 5. Now if I subtract x times ln 4 on both sides, these two cancel out and I'll be left with x times ln 5 minus x times ln 4 is equal to negative 2 times ln 5. Now if I factor out x from here, I get x times ln 5 minus ln 4 is equal to negative 2 times ln 5. Now, if I have something in the form ln a minus ln b, this is the same thing as 
ln a over b. So ln 5 minus ln 4, can we write that as ln 5 over ln 4, or sorry, ln 5 over 4, which is equal to negative 2 times ln 5. Now negative 2 ln 5, remember how I can move this to the front. So now I'm going to have x times ln 5 over 4 is equal to ln 5 to the power of negative 2, which is the same thing as 1 over 25. So now if I divide both sides by ln 5 over 4, these two cancel out, and I'll be left with x is equal to ln 1 over 25 over ln 5 over 4. So this is my answer. All right, so in this problem, I have 9 to the power of 900 minus 9 to the power of 902. So to solve this, I'm going to first go ahead and rewrite 902 as 900 plus 2. So now I have 9 to the power of 900 minus 9 to the power of 900 plus 2. Now, if I have something in the form a to the power of m plus n, this is equal to a to the power of m times a to the power of n. So in this case, 9 to the power of 900 plus 2, that's going to equal 9 to the power of 900 times 9 to the power of 2. Now from here, if I factor out 9 to the power of 100, or sorry, 9 to the power of 900, I get 9 to the power of 900 times 1 minus 9 to the power of 2. Now 9 to the power of 2, that's simply equal to 81. So now I have 9 to the power of 100, or sorry, 900 times 1 minus 81. And 1 minus 81, that's equal to negative 80. So I have 9 to the power of 100 times negative 80. Now 9, that's the same thing as 3 to the power of 2. So now I have 3 to the power of 2 to the power of 900 times negative 80. And this is the same thing as 3 to the power of 1800 times negative 80. So I can actually move this negative sign to the front. So this is actually going to equal negative 3 to the power of 1800 times 80. So this is my answer. Now, a second method of solving this problem. First start with 9 to the power of 900 minus 9 to the power of 902. Now, instead of rewriting 902 as 900 plus 2, I'm going to rewrite 900 as 902 minus 2. So now I have 9 to the power of 902 minus 2 minus 9 to the power of 902. Now I'm going to rewrite this as 9 to the power of 902 plus negative 2. Minus 9 to the power of 902. So now this is equal to 9 to the power of 902 times 9 to the power of negative 2 minus 9 to the power of 902. Now if I factor out 9 to the power of 902, I get 9 to the power of 902 times 9 to the power of negative 2 minus 1. Now this is the same thing as 9 to the power of 902 times 9 to the power of negative 2 is the same thing as 1 over 81. So I have 1 over 81 minus 1. And this is the same thing as negative 80 over 81. So this is my answer. This is another way of writing the answer. 